Hi, I'm Dr. Carl Freeman with Jacksonville Orthopedic Institute. I'm an orthopedic surgeon and I'm also a hip surgeon. This surgery is called periacetabular osteotomy or PAO surgery. PAO surgery is a surgery that corrects the underlying hip dysplasia. This is a corrective procedure which realigns the hip socket around the ball and it helps preserve the natural hip joint and prevents the need for a hip replacement later on in life. Let's talk for a minute about the steps of PAO surgery. The patient is brought over into the bed and we make sure that they're comfortable and that's where they go to sleep with the anesthesia. The body is positioned in a way that the arms are out of the way and then the hip area is prepped and draped and prepared for surgery. We start the surgery with an incision over the hip joint. And once the bones are exposed and we identify our landmarks, we place retractors. Now these retractors are very important because they allow us to see around the hip joint even though we're using a small incision. During the surgery, we use the live x-ray machine called the C-arm, and this allows us to see in real time an x-ray of, of the bones that we're treating. Another important technology that we use during PAO surgery is the cell saver machine. This machine allows us to suck up the blood that a person is bleeding during the surgery, because there will be blood loss, of course, and allows us to capture that blood and cleanse it and then put it back in the person, literally put it into the IV. And it's really a fantastic way to limit blood loss. We use precision osteotomes, which are basically bone cutting chisels to make bone cuts around the ball and socket joint of that hip in order to correct the position of the socket and provide the coverage of the hip. Once we get the hip socket in a position that we think is, is, is what we're going for, the, the position is just right, we hold it in place with pins and then do several x-rays with different views to make sure that we have the right position. The next step is to put screws in. Now we like to put anywhere from three to five screws into these pelvic bones in order to really hold that socket in place well. Once the screws are in, we do final x-rays. And again, this is a series of x-rays to make sure that that socket is aligned exactly the way we want it. If we're satisfied with that, we irrigate the joint and we do a layered closure. If you or someone you know has hip pain, it could be hip dysplasia. And a good diagnosis is the first step towards getting your life back on track. This is what we do. We're here to help.